Okay, welcome all you kids doing lockdown learning on Eat Farm Now. So the theme this week is the environment, which is a really important one because as we know, with all of us, we're not doing a very good job of looking after it. And there's lots of different ways that we can look after the environment better. And it's the same with farming. It depends on the type of farm you've got, what sort of food you're producing and the type of land that you're on. So I am a hill farmer. So I produce lamb and beef, so cows and sheep that can live on these mountains. And because on hill farms we've got very thin soil, uh, lots of rain, uh, lots of different sort of plants and vegetation and hilly rocky land, it would actually damage it to, to grow crops here. So that's why the cows and sheep are a really good option. The main thing we try and do here to improve the environment is have lots of biodiversity. Diversity means a mix of things. So we try and create lots of different habitats, another word. So habitat are different, different places that different wildlife live. So we've got the lake, we've got a river coming into the lake, we've got a boggy mire down here, we've got woodland, we've got heathland, we've got a woody heath and we've got pasture land. So those are lots of different places that different types of species, different wildlife can live or they might eat in one, they might breed in another, they might rest in one. And the other thing we make sure is that they're all really connected. So if there's one patch of woodland here, we want to make sure that the animals there or whatever species can get to the next bit of woodland. So they're not just stuck to one room like I know a lot of us are during lockdown. So I'm going to take you to go see some of the cows that are, that are on, the small number of cows on the mountain here that are making lots of biodiversity for us. But first, the other things that the farm are doing, so we make sure it's all connected, all the different habitats. We make sure the different habitats are in really good condition, so the type of species that you'd expect to see there are there. And there's plenty of space for nature, so lots of areas get left or have long rest periods. Um, and the other things we do, we've got renewable energy, so it creates green energy that doesn't create carbon emissions. We've got a hydro scheme on a stream over here, and we've got solar panels on some of the roofs. We also get rid of invasive species, which are plants that have been introduced from people's gardens, and they just take over all the natural vegetation, so we get rid of them. And then in some cases, we actually try and make a few new areas for wildlife. So instead of just letting them flourish and using the animals to create a mix within that, we have planted an orchard. We've got beehives now. We've planted a hedgerow. There was a really good video earlier about a hedgerow. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll take you now to go see the cows that are the sort of biodiversity warriors here. And I'll just, come here. And I'll just introduce you to Roy quickly. Hey, Roy. So all hill farmers need a very, very good key worker, which is their sheepdog. And this is Roy. <laughs> so these are the workers that create the biodiversity. So some areas of the farm... He wants to have a word. Some areas of the farm will only get grazed in the summer. So then these won't eat the trees over winter. They'll push through things, they'll munch on some things, they won't munch on other things. And you can see behind her all the different sort of little trees coming in. So we've got small numbers of cows on a big area. And what they'll do is help prevent just the bracken from taking over. They'll push through, they'll stamp, they'll eat some things, they won't eat others. But we won't leave them there for too long or over winter. So everything gets a chance to grow. Some areas won't get touched, but you get a nice mix of things coming in. So this is an example where we use a small amount of grazing to create a lot of habitat. And you can see it there behind us. And these are Welsh black cows. So they're Welsh cows used to the mountains. <laughs> 